Chapter 17 In the twelfth year of Ahaz, king of Judah, began Hoshea the son of Elah to reign in Samaria over Israel, and he reigned nine years. He did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, yet not as the kings of Israel who were before him. Shalmaneser, king of Assyria, came up against him, and Hoshea became his servant, and brought him tribute. The king of Assyria found conspiracy in Hoshea, for he had sent messengers to So, king of Egypt, and offered no tribute to the king of Assyria, as he had done year by year. Therefore the king of Assyria shut him up, and bound him in prison. Then the king of Assyria came up throughout all the land, and went to Samaria, and besieged it three years. In the ninth year of Hoshea the king of Assyria took Samaria, and carried Israel away to Assyria, and placed them in Hala, and on the Habor, the river of Gozan, and in the cities of the Medes. This happened because the children of Israel had sinned against the Lord their God, who brought them up out of the land of Egypt, from under the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt, and they had feared other gods, and walked in the statutes of the nations, whom the Lord had cast out from before the children of Israel, and from before their kings. The children of Israel did secretly things that were not right against the Lord their God, and they built high places in all their cities, from the tower of the watchmen to the fortified city, and they set up pillars and ashram on every high hill and under every green tree, and there they burnt incense in all the high places, as did the nations whom the Lord had carried away before them, and they worked wicked things to provoke the Lord to anger, and they served idols, of which the Lord had said to them, You shall not do this thing. Yet the Lord testified to Israel and to Judah by every prophet and every seer, saying, Turn from your evil ways, and keep my commandments and my statutes, according to all the law which I commanded your fathers, and which I sent to you by my servants the prophets. But they would not hear, but hardened their neck, like the neck of their fathers, who didn't believe in the Lord their God. They rejected his statutes and his covenant that he made with their fathers, and his testimonies with which he testified to them. And they followed vanity, and became vain, and went after the nations that were round about them, concerning whom the Lord had charged those that they should not be like them. They forsook all the commandments of their Lord their God, and made molten images, even two calves, and made an Asherah, and worshipped all the hosts of the sky, and served Baal. They caused their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire, and used divination and enchantments, and sold themselves to do that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, to provoke him to anger. Therefore the Lord was very angry with Israel, and removed them out of his sight. There was none left but the tribe of Judah only. And Judah also didn't keep the commandments of the Lord their God, but walked in the statutes of Israel which they had made. The Lord rejected all the seed of Israel, and afflicted them, and delivered them into the hand of spoilers, until he had cast them out of his sight. For he tore Israel from the house of David, and they made Jeroboam the son of Nebat king, and Jeroboam drove Israel from following the Lord, and made them sin a great sin. The children of Israel walked in all the sins of Jeroboam which he did, and they didn't depart from them, until the Lord removed Israel from out of his sight, as he spoke by all his servants the prophets. So Israel was carried away out of their own land to Assyria to this day. The king of Assyria brought men from Babylon, and from Kutha, and from Ava, and from Hamath, and from Sepharvaim, and placed them in the cities of Samaria instead of the children of Israel, and they possessed Samaria and lived in the cities of it. So it was, at the beginning of their dwelling there, that they didn't fear the Lord. Therefore the Lord sent lions among them, which killed some of them. Then they spoke to the king of Assyria, saying, The nations which you have carried away and placed in the cities of Samaria don't know the law of the God of the land. Therefore he has sent lions among them, and they kill them, because they don't know the law of the God of this land. Then the king of Assyria commanded, saying, Carry there one of the priests whom you brought from there, and let him go and dwell there, and let him teach them the law of the God of the land. So one of the priests whom they had carried away from Samaria came and lived in Bethel, and taught them how they should fear the Lord. However, every nation made gods of their own, and put them in the houses of the high places which the Samaritans had made every nation in their cities in which they lived. The men of Babylon made Sukoth benoth and the men of Kuth made Nergal, and the men of Hamath made Ashima, 
and the Abites made Nibhaz and Tartak, and the Severites burnt their children in the fire to Adramalek and Anamalek, the gods of Sepharvaim. So they feared the Lord, and made to them from among themselves priests of the high places, who sacrificed for them in the houses of the high places. They feared the Lord, and served their own gods, after the manner of the nations from among whom they had been carried away. They follow these practices to this day. They don't fear the Lord, neither do they follow after His statutes, or after His ordinances, or after the law, or after the commandment which the Lord commanded the children of Jacob, whom He named Israel, with whom the Lord had made a covenant and charged them, saying, You shall not fear other gods, nor bow yourselves to them, nor serve them, nor sacrifice to them. But the Lord, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt with great power and with an outstretched arm, him shall you fear, and to him shall you bow yourself, and to him shall you sacrifice. And the statutes and the ordinances, and the law and the commandment which he wrote for you, you shall observe to do forever, and you shall not fear other gods. And the covenant that I have made with you, you shall not forget, neither shall you fear other gods. But the Lord your God shall you fear, and he will deliver you out of the hand of all your enemies. However, they did not listen, but they did after their former manner. So these nations feared the Lord, but served their engraved images, their children likewise, and their children's children, as did their fathers, so they do to this day.